Silver Short Squeeze. Hey gang, this is Mike with MrNoFluff.com and we're going to be talking about what does that mean for me, okay? Because back in 2016, I called that gold and silver were to play and I made videos about it and everyone laughed at me, right? And now we can see that silver is making a move, right? And it's not a secret that, you know, bankers been manipulating the market forever. It's not a secret that hedge funds been manipulating the markets forever. It's not a secret that the stock market is a manipulated environment. And that's why I don't really mess with the stock market, okay? Now, if it crashes 60%, 70%, then I may consider buying selected stocks that I like. But overall, I don't, I don't try to get into uh, things that are highly manipulated, okay? Uh, and we saw what happened with GameStop, which shows everyone that how it's manipulated. You know, they can stop people from trading. They can stop the little guys from winning because the whole market is for the sharks to eat, for the hunt hunters to hunt. And we are the hunted. Okay. So that said, it looks like, you know, there's noise on the Internet. And I've also looked, looked up on many different dealers locally and nationwide. I've called them. I've gone to their websites and it seems like that there's definitely a shortage on silver inventory. I don't care if you're looking at ounce bars or you're looking at kilos of ounces. They don't have uh, silver in stock. And so what they're saying is it's going to take about 25 days when you prepay and your money is confirmed 25 days before they give you that silver. So Mm, I, I don't know, man. It's like me paying for something they don't have it, and they're gonna tell me they're gonna have it in 25 days. Okay, so that's that's the situation now, from the local to the nationwide dealers. Now, if you look at the spot price, you're gonna be shocked if you try to actually get the physical silver. So, be, and the reason is because of the manipulation. There's a derailing, right? It's kind of like the train has gone off the rail. And because the spot price doesn't represent the actual cost of holding the silver, okay? How much is there a difference from today's research? I, I called, you know, at least 20 different places and looked over 20 different places online. You're going to be paying anywhere from 9 to 10 bucks easily on just generic ounces. So for every ounce, so right now to today was... The price of an ounce was $29 an ounce, so you're going to be paying like $39 to $40 if you want to get the actual ounce itself, guys, okay? Now, why why do I only buy the real thing? I, I only hold the physical. I don't buy the paper, the derivative uh, part, because, it's, again, it's manipulated. Why would I want to participate in a manipulated market that doesn't make sense it's kind of like i'm playing wrestling but the ref and the other team are embedded with each other of course it's going to be impossible for me to win sometimes they got to put a couple of winners out there just because you know they got to make it seem like it's a fair market well we at least i know it's not a fair market <laughs> and that's why i would never buy paper silver versus gold silver i would rather buy the gold silver i mean i'm sorry the gold coin or the silver coin um versus the paper right uh and, and i know a lot of people are going to buy the paper and they say well mike i can redeem the paper i can redeem the paper for the actual silver and i'm i'm gonna say good luck maybe the first few few people but after a while it's going to be impossible because they're shorting it and, and they're actually what their mathematical uh, magic math that they have these smart phd people there's not you know let's say if there's only like one silver on the paper books it looks like there's two silvers right for maybe for every one ounce so in other words it's being fractionized just like how banks are you know if you go to a bank you deposit a hundred bucks they may only keep you know a hundred to ten bucks of it then the other nine they're going to lend it out right uh, at more higher prices right so you know but I'm not gonna get into that so the same thing I believe is happening in the paper derivative market is that there is less silver 
compared to what the paper is and they tell you that they'll give it to you but you know at any time when they run out or if they don't feel like giving the actual product up because they know the value of it versus what the spot price is through their manipulation the manipulators at that time they'll decide to just cash out people in fiat or something versus the actual physical metal right it's kind of like what's happening with the GameStop you know instead of allowing retail like people like you and me to buy into the GameStop to increase the price more so those hedge funds lose lose all their money and go bankrupt they stop the trading on it right that it would only allow you to sell it versus buy it which causes you know a side effect right it, it helps that other team win which is the hedge fund versus the me and you or the retail buyers or what they call dumb money and so for me I'm, again, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not trying to tell you what to do. I'm just sharing with you my own personal experiences. I would not buy paper silver, right? I would not buy paper gold. Uh, I would only own the physical. The physical costs more, right? And that's true. But that's why I bought it back in 2016 when it was like an all-time low from that that has been in a quite a while, right? Um, and you know and I and I brought it to you guys on my YouTube channel many people laughed at me and you know people are saying that silver's going to you know a hundred bucks maybe a thousand bucks I don't know I don't have a crystal ball but in my opinion you know historically it's 50 percent less than what it used to be because it, hit, it had hit all-time highs and I believe that it's going to go to that prices then what happens after that I have no idea I'm not a magician or you know crystal ball reader but historically you know what I've noticed from my own studies in investing if it's in real estate investing if it's you know uh, cryptos or if it's gold and silver when something hits its all-time high and then then it has a crash then in, in a few years or who knows eventually it will hit that price again right or very close to it um, and so that's 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 why I'm betting for that it will hit the price all-time high before now some people will say will oh, pass that a lot I don't know but I'm happy with hitting is all-time highs and like today I, I, I posted on my Facebook if you guys are not following me on my Facebook Facebook groups totally free guys go to go to my real estate dojo there's a link there join okay uh, I posted on there that I'm selling some kilos of ounces of silver because I called all these dealers they were all out and I said you know what I'm willing to sell mine for seven dollars over spot so I posted on my Facebook groups and that I'm willing to sell some kilos of silver seven dollars over spot so spot right now is 29 so you know add seven to it right so like 37 36 dollars right and, and the buyer pays for the shipping and I'm only accepting cash or Bitcoin only um, but I prefer local pickups so if you're interested in buying some of that silver shout out to me uh, again I'm willing to ship it but you have to pay for the insurance the shipping cost and I'm charging seven dollars over spot guys um, and, and, and you know that's where it is guys uh, if you're also having got my my flipping houses course make sure you go to my real estate dojo dot com and there's going to be my book there it's a total totally free offer um, and don't forget to join us in our Facebook groups and if you're looking for a side hustle you're looking a way to make money then look into bicycle flipping guys bicycle flipping I have a course on that I actually have had tons of videos on sh showing you how to make this happen and you know the way I teach it the way I do it is with just a hundred bucks I started with a hundred bucks flipping bikes and in one month I was able to do nine thousand one hundred and nineteen dollars there's a video I show you exactly how I did it so go check it out guys thanks so much don't take no for an answer peace